<laughs> All right. <laughs> Buenos dias, everybody. I'm on live. The bear hug is being put on my wife this morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Manufactured Home Show for March 22nd, 2011. You know, yeah. I forgot to mention that it's springtime. We yeah. It's spring now, by the way. It's fall in the southern hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> and spring. So welcome to spring, everybody. Welcome to the show. And um, thank you for being here, whether you're live or recorded. Uh, the Manufactured Home Show is brought to you by our famous sponsor, ManufacturedHomeMart.com. Go there after the show. Uh, uh, to buy, sell, rent, manufactured homes, and promote your businesses. You might hear some goings on there, and the kitchen is directly adjacent to my broadcasting position. Uh, so you might hear a little bit of a kitchen noise, but you know what? That's okay. At this time, this is the only place I have to, to, to webcast from. So I think I might have to make a change to go to a more private location. <laughs> but anyway, that's all right. So on tap for today, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about gas prices. That affects all of us in the whole world. Last night I was watching CNN, and uh, a, the gentleman who was uh, the former president of Shell Oil, he got on there and he had some pretty pointed things to say. First thing he said is, is, don't expect gas to go down anytime soon, which I think everybody would be in agreement with that. The second thing he said that I thought was particularly scary was the fact that China and India will probably double uh, their demand for oil in, the, in the, just the next few years. Double. Um, that, that is very frightening. That, that increases the demand, uh, which also will increase the, the price worldwide. Uh, also, uh, he made a couple of recommendations. Uh, one of them was the fact that he says that the United States can produce up to 50% of its own oil uh, that we use. Uh, might, be, might be a good time to tap into the reserves. It might be a good time... Uh, for the United States to go forward. I, I would be, be in agreement with that, even though, <clears throat> if you know me, I'm not a fan of oil at all. I, I would much rather that it just didn't exist, but of course uh, it's here and uh, there's a lot of people involved in that industry, so it's not going anywhere. Um, I, think, uh, I think now would be a good time to go ahead and tap into reserves and also tap into our resources, start producing more oil for ourselves domestically, that's a good idea, guy from Shell Oil, or former guy from Shell Oil. And the last thing that I wrote down that he's, he, he's speculating, he's saying that gas uh, could reach $5 a gallon by the end of 2012. And uh, I agree with that, too. That's, that's very, very possible, very, very scary. And if that happens, I'm parking my Nissan Titan, I'm parking my Honda Accord, and we will not drive. Got it, babe? Sure. We'll walk. Yeah. I'm gonna get your shape up too. You give me some shape ups and a bicycle. Yeah. We'll be down the road. No more gas. Well, there, there, there's a few solutions, but we've been avoiding the issue all along. But um, you know, uh, they can make cars that work on other things other than gas. Uh, for instance, electricity or even hydrogen. So, uh, again, I'd like to challenge put a challenge out there this time to the car industry, the car makers. Let's build more, let's build some more cars that, that run on electricity. Let's build some cars that run on hydrogen. You know what? Jay, Le Jay Leno has a car that is part gas and part hydrogen. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, Jay Leno has a BMW that, uh, you could probably find that on YouTube if you look for it. Um, it runs on hydrogen, and, and the beauty thing about that is it's good for the environment, too, because um, the exhaust is water vapor. That's it. Pretty cool, huh? Bet you didn't know that. All right, well, aside from gas, I just wanted, I just wanted to touch on gas because it looks like we're, we might be heading for uh, which might be known as a double-dip recession, and that will be very bad. 
Uh, it looks like we're heading that way. Um, let, let's hope not. It's not good for us, obviously, and our economy and our place in the world. Uh, but there's a lot of signs there, and gas is just one of them, that uh, we, we might be in for a double-dip recession. Uh, housing market, we talk a lot about housing here on the Manufactured Home Show. And housing doesn't seem to be bouncing back in, in a lot of markets. Uh, and what I notice here in Phoenix is that the, the market is getting even worse. Not good. So double dip recession is, is possible. Um, wanted to talk about Libya. Uh, an American jet went down. You might have saw the news on that. It was not shot down. Uh, I guess there was a mechanical failure. The pilots are okay. And um, they were well received. You looking for something? Well, you have to go on the camera. There you are. I can see you. <laughs> Another cameo by my wife, who will who will not co-host. Um, so, so uh, a jet got shot down. The the, but the pilots are okay. Oh, I'm sorry, a jet did not get shot down. It, it, there was a mechanical failure, but a jet did go down, not shot down, and uh, they're okay. The American uh, pilots are okay, and 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 they're with us. They weren't captured by the enemy. Uh, uh, we we continue with Operation Odyssey down Don uh, Odyssey Don. <laughs> I'm trying to think of Black Hawk Down, but it's um, it's Odyssey Dawn, which is an awfully strange uh, name for such a <laughs> such a thing. I think that was the name of a Yes album, if I if I'm not mistaken. Odyssey Down Odyssey Down from the 70s. I don't know. Look it up. Uh, yes, progressive rock band. Nobody will know that ex except us old people. Okay, so there's also been a bunch of guys out in the government like Ron Paul and some other um, uh, senators and representatives in Congress that have basically been coming out and uh, coming out against uh, the bombing of Libya and what the president has done. Um, and, and some of them, some of them, going so far as to say he's he's uh, committed an, an impeachable defense. Let, let me let me let me clarify. Uh, we're not at war with Libya. We did not declare war on Libya. Uh, the president does need to get Congress's approval to go to war. However, to my knowledge, we have not declared war on Libya. What we're involved in is an international effort to do something. I know the mission is unclear. We're trying to protect Libyan citizens or we're establishing no-fly zone. What, whatever, if the mission's not clear or if it is clear, it's really neither here nor there. The fact is, is that the president did not need Congress's approval uh, to participate in an, an international coalition action against Libya. So everybody out there that's screaming about that, you can please shut up now uh, because uh, the president did not do anything wrong. Certainly was not an impeachable defense. Uh, I'm uh, oh, <laughs> impeachable, impeachable offense. I can't talk in the morning. Anyway, um, so I wanted to touch base on that. That's a lot of things happening. Uh, also in Japan, uh, looks like they got reactor three. They got power there. And they might be starting to get a little bit better on a handle of the situation as time goes by. Keep offering up those prayers for those people over there. have just been devastated by multiple disasters. Again, uh, please support the Red Cross, redcross.org. Or if you know of any other worthwhile um, organizations that provide relief, uh, please donate your time and or dollars. Uh, to those organizations that can help uh, Japan. Uh, I'm going to keep the web sh webcast uh, short today. Got a lot of things to do on my own, so um, I will not be here very long. Uh, uh, please, uh, please go ahead and uh, use the website manufacturedhomemart.com, up and running for advertising manufactured homes for sale for rent. Also, of course, your business. Uh, I don't really want to plug anything else uh, today other than uh, our, our proud sponsor, ManufacturedHomeMart.com. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. 
uh, with uh, whatever issues come up of the day. Thank, thanks very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. And uh, thank you for your business on manufacturedhomemart.com. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.